A week ago, I asked you guys what topics you wanted to see videos on, and there is a very clear trend. Nobody wants videos, or very few people want videos on HTML and CSS. Ah, uh, well, welcome to a video on HTML and CSS. Um, I recorded this video uh, before I sent this survey out. Um, obviously, this intro I'm recording after the fact, just to tell you that I hear you, and uh, we'll have some more React and TypeScript, JavaScript heavy videos with less HTML and CSS. Uh, although, I'm not going to get rid of the CSS entirely. Okay, here we go. A video on CSS for the 8% of you who care. Hey everyone, today we're going to make a fancy rainbow loader, a spinner, that's just a single HTML element, uh, but it incorporates a lot of the concepts I've covered recently on this channel. So things like there's a, a conic gradient involved. I had a video on gradients. We use a pseudo element before or after I had a video on those. We put it together to make this sort of cool looking animation. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I should mention that this is a tweak slash fork of uh, this guy's spinner, Jatin Sharma. Um, I cleaned th some things up, I changed the gradient, the shadows, but it it's the same concept, um, so it's not some original design. I wanna be clear about that. All right, so how does this work? Well, it's a single HTML element, it's a div uh, that is a circle, and it's filled with a gradient. But the fancy part is this inner circle it's just a, a white background with a box shadow that is done using a pseudo element. So it sits on top and it makes it look like we have a ring here, but really it's just a circle with another circle on top. So let's go ahead and fire up a code pen. Uh, I'll add in a div, I'll just call it spinner. This is where I'm going to, uh, or that's what I'm gonna turn into the spinner. So I'm gonna select that. And the first thing I'll do is make it a circle and uh, give it a background. Maybe I'll just give it a background color to start of you know purple. We're going to get rid of that, but I'll just set it to be purple. And then I'll give it a width and a height. Let's do, I don't know, 300 pixels and height 300 pixels. Whoops, 300. And then I'm going to make it a circle. So I'll use border radius. And I'm going to use a percentage. This allows me to, if I, you know, scale it down. If I were to change this, it would still stay a circle. Whereas if I had said border radius is 150 pixels, if I change the size, I want to go up to 500 by 500, my border radius is off. But if I had kept it at 50%, then that scales appropriately. But I want to go back to 300. All right, so that's our simple base circle. It eventually will be filled with this gradient. The next thing I'm going to do is add in this inner circle to form the ring. So instead of cluttering my markup with a second div that, I mean, what would I even call that? Like inner ring or something, give it a class. Um, instead, I'm gonna keep my HTML very clean and use a pseudo element, dot spinner for my class, colon, colon, before. Now check out the video I did on pseudo elements if you're totally confused on what they are. They are very confusing uh, until, you, uh, until you watch a video <laughs> that explains it. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna set content to be empty string um, and I'm gonna give it a background color of white and then I've gotta do some positioning stuff. So I'm gonna set its position to be absolute and I'm gonna set the spinner's position to be relative and then the goal here is that I'm gonna take this white circle, which currently we don't see, and I'm gonna have it positioned in the middle and be about 80% of the size of the purple circle. So I can start with width 80%, height 80%, and then I'm gonna make it a circle because by default it's just gonna be a box. So border radius, same thing, 50%. So now I have a smaller circle I just need to move it over to where I want it to go. And to do that, uh, I'm gonna set the top to be 50%, left to be 50%. Now, this is a little tricky. Uh, to make this responsive, quote unquote, meaning that I could change the size of the spinner, I'm using percentages here, and then I'm gonna transform, translate, negative 50%, negative 50%. And that will give me a centered circle a smaller circle within that circle, no matter the size of this parent. So I could have it be you know, 900 by 900, and it's still centered. If I had used pixel values, uh, that would not work. So 300 by 300 is fine. Um, and the same goes here. I could change this to be 
40% width and height, it's still going to stay centered. Okay, so we have that ring in there, thanks to our before, and it's white, well, it's a white circle forming the purple ring. The next thing I'm going to do is actually make my gradient for the background of the main spinner. Instead of having it be solid purple, I want it to be this gradient. So to save time, I have the conic gradient on my clipboard. Check out the video I did on gradients if you're unsure how they work. Uh, but if we take a look at the whole conic gradient, I'll just get rid of this background color on the white center. This is what it looks like here. So we're just using the outer ring of that. And you can play around with your own colors, of course. All right, so we have that. We have our ring on top. The next thing to do that's important, you know, there's border or box shadow and border, but let's just get an animation going. So to do that, I'll define a keyframes. So at keyframes, we'll call it spin. And this is a very simple one. We're going to go from zero rotation to 360. Um, and in a lot of modern browsers, we can even skip the two, or rather the from, and just put the two. Or I could do 100%, but I'll just say two transform rotate 360 degrees so if that doesn't work for you once we apply it um, you can do 100% and then just have your 0% start at 0 degrees rotation and then I'll apply that to the spinner not to the inner ring we won't see that but to the outer ring I want this whole circle to spin okay so animation let's do like 1.4 seconds spin 1.4 seconds uh, linear and then just go infinitely and we have our spinning ring of rainbow it looks lovely um, and now we just have some finishing touches if we want to add in the box shadows and the border to make it look like what I showed you at the beginning so we can add a box shadow to this outer ring box shadow and I hate dealing with box shadows, but we'll do 0, 0, 150 pixels, negative 75 pixels, and we'll have it be black. So that gives us some depth there. And then we'll do some shadow on the inner circle, but this is going to be an inset shadow. So box shadow, because we want it to be on the inside, right, instead of out over the gradient. And it will be inset. 0 pixels, 0 pixels, 110 pixels. I just messed around uh, before I recorded this, figuring out what size I liked. So tweak that in whatever way looks best. Uh, now we have that inner box shadow, and it looks pretty good. Uh, and then if we want, we can add a border to both of the circles. So border, like 4 pixels, solid white. And we'll just copy that on up to the outer rainbow circle. And there we are. All right, so that's our spinner. I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll be back with another video next week, hopefully feeling a bit better with a less raspy voice.